Casey Neistat, who has over 1 million subscribers and over 1 billion views, has just quit vlogging. You're no longer gonna see them. I feel like we've just like broken up with him or something. In his video titled, I'm Ending the Vlog, he explained how he's no longer gonna be making videos because it's just not a challenge for him. He's used to like producing movies and then he did complex YouTube videos before his daily vlogging and now it's just, it's not a challenge for him. It's not enough. He says he's producing videos way too easily without having to think anymore. He will still be producing videos on his channel, just not vlogs. You're not gonna see as many videos on his channel. He will try to post some like a few times a week or just once a week. So let's just wait and see to see the types of videos that he's gonna be producing soon. He's like really good at making videos, so I can't wait. A lot of vlogging YouTubers this year have actually quit. I mean, what's going on in 2016 for vloggers? YouTubers like FujiTube, BF versus GF, I know they broke up. PewDiePie has just quit daily vlogging for a bit. Shay Carl is about to go on like a, a year and a half quit, like a hiatus. Well, Sonic Production says he's quitting vlogging as well for a bit. He should be back next week. It's just a crazy time for YouTube. I mean, there's so much drama and now this trend of like vloggers quitting, but don't worry, I'm not quitting. I'm over 800 short days right now and I'm still going strong. Okay, so last night was the AMA. So let me tell you guys everything you should know. The show started off with one of the hosts, Gigi Hadid, making fun of Donald Trump's wife. She did an impression of Melania Trump. Ariana Grande walked away with the night's biggest honor and that was for Artist of the Year. Congratulations. She LB, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Rihanna, and Carrie Underwood. Now I'm not sure why Taylor Swift wasn't even in this category. She was like snuffed. Selena Gomez gave a very powerful speech after she won pop slash rock female artist of the year. Zayn Malik won new artist of the year. He beat out Canadian Shawn Mendes. He was a strong contender for that. And if it wasn't for Zayn, I think Shawn Mendes would have won. Beyonce won for tour of the year. Video of the year was Justin Bieber's song for Sorry. Favorite male artist pop slash rock was Justin Bieber. Favorite duo or group pop slash rock was 21 Pilots. Favorite album was Purpose by of course Justin Bieber again. Favorite song again Justin Bieber and that was for Love Yourself. Justin Bieber won himself four trophies for the night so you better make room in that trophy case so you probably don't even have room. You have so many. Rihanna and Drake won three awards. Drake actually had a record breaking 13 nominations but he came out short with only three. Did you guys see the award show? What did you guys most like about it? What was the best performance? Who's your favorite artist? Let me know in the comment section below and from there like I always love doing on Mondays let me take you guys over to the box office so coming in at third was Trolls this movie's in its third week of being in the box office the Fox movie brought in 17.5 million dollars Doctor Strange took the second spot with 17.6 million dollars and it was also in its third week at the top of the box office was of course Fantastic Beast and where to find them. The movie just came out and I've seen it. It was, uh, it's really good. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure they're coming out with like seven parts of this movie. So, I mean, hooray for that. The movie made $75 million. The budget for this movie, however, was $180 million. So they still gotta try to fight to try to break even, but I'm sure they will. Let's see how they do. The movie is currently in over 4,000 theaters, which is the most right now out of any movie. So let's see how they do, you know, throughout the week. A movie I just can't wait to watch right now is Hacksaw Ridge. I might actually be watching the movie right now by the time you guys are watching this video, my video. I don't think I've ever seen a movie on a Monday, so this might be a first. This movie is about a true and inspiring story about the life of Desmond Dawes, who was in World War II, but he didn't believe in killing people. Instead, he did the opposite. He wanted to save people. I mean, doesn't that look so damn good? It looks so awesome. Okay, moving on. According to the World Health Organization, Zika is no longer a public health emergency. Yes. The mosquito-borne virus sparked panic this year after millions of people were infected, causing babies to be born with birth defects. Well, now the World Health Organization is reporting that Zika is still a significant health challenge, but it is no longer an emergency. This new classification is due to the fact that the Zika infections have dropped significantly, but the World Health Organization is still dedicated to finding a vaccination and a cure. A 24-year-old woman, Kate Gillespie, was diagnosed with a rare medical condition called Achalasia. This condition means that she will vomit after every meal so food will never actually reach her stomach. Surgeons scheduled her for an operation to stop her from constantly throwing up, but Kate realized that she had become pregnant, so she decided to cancel this life-saving operation until the baby was born. Doctors advised her that postponing this operation, she could actually risk the health of her unborn child because the baby's not getting enough nutrients. I mean, not at all. However, during her pregnancy, she was closely monitored and she actually gave birth to a healthy baby boy. It was a tough decision for her to make. A 14 year old girl becomes the first British teenager to be cryogenically frozen. 
This 14 year old girl's body is being hung upside down in temperatures of minus 196 degrees. I mean, that's just a little bit colder than Canada. So that's in degrees Celsius, and she was put into liquid nitrogen while awaiting a future cure for her terminal cancer that could bring her back to life. The whole purpose of being cryologically frozen is to preserve the body and hope that one day we're gonna have new advances, technologies, or cures for these people so they can come back to life. So if this is successful, soon we're not gonna have any dead people. We're just gonna have a lot of frozen ones. Some people claim that this technique is very strange, but others argue that being bruised or cremated is so final, at least through cryogenics, that they have no chance of living again. In other news, at least 133 people were killed and 100 injured after a train derailment in northern Uttar Pradesh, India. And those are the numbers at the time of this recording. These numbers could actually be higher. It is still unclear what caused the 14 carriage train to derail, but investigations will be carried out immediately. India has the fourth largest railway system carrying 20 million people every single day. But sadly, India suffers from frequent train derailments ailments with thousands of people dying in this accident every single year. It's very, very scary because now you sitting in a train, there's actually a good chance of it crashing and you not surviving or being badly injured. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys come to the end, thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys. This channel is nearing 1 million subscribers, which is insane. And I'm just letting you guys know that my 1 million subscriber plaque for my top 10 channel, it actually fell off the wall. The part that I put up on the wall, it's still there. But the whole plaque, it's just off. Check out my vlog channel if you guys want to check it out. But if you guys have the 1 million subscriber plaque, don't put it on your wall because it's the new one and it's like YouTube went so cheap with it. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. And also a huge congratulations to Michael McCrun for his channel. Uh, he does Before They're Famous. He just got his 1 million subscriber plaque. Congrats to him and congrats to every single one of you guys and all of your accomplishments in life. And on that note, this is the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching.